What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a activewear haul, an activewear tour. I'm not sure what to call this. If we've not met before, my name is Margaret. I'm 25. I live in Arizona. I love all things health and fitness. I'm a full-time Pilates instructor, so I have a pretty hefty activewear collection and I thought, why not? Let's go through it. Um, uh, we're just gonna go through everything that I have. I thought it would be fun to share with you guys. And also I just did all my laundry. So like everything is nice and clean and folded. So we're gonna go through everything. I'm gonna share like some specific thoughts and feelings. And this is also gonna serve as a way to get me tr to try some stuff on and get rid of some shit that I don't wear anymore. So we're going to start off with leggings and uh, um, I keep all of my stuff in these cubes that I got from Ikea because I have storage underneath my bed. So I put all of my stuff in the drawers underneath my bed. Here are my leggings. We are going to start off just with my Lululemon leggings. So we'll start off. I'm wearing a pair of the Align leggings. I got these back in February. I had a whole Lululemon haul with these. These are the olive green color. I love them. I also have the Lululemon Align leggings in this green color. I have them in this like almost like patterned. I'm not even sure what to call it. It's a pattern. I wear those in a lot of my workout videos. So you guys have definitely have definitely seen those before without a doubt. And these are the diamond dye leggings. These are all align leggings. I love them very much. They're buttery soft. And since really all I do is Pilates, they're perfect for that. Perfect for yoga, not for stuff where you're going to be sweating a lot. There's like no compression, but I love them. They are so comfy. I think the best part about them is the seamless waistband. So it's like I'm laying down on the couch and I don't feel like my leggings are digging in. I love that. I love that for me, especially. Then I have some Lululemon stuff that is branded with the studio that I work at. So I have the Lululemon um, Ready to Rulu joggers that are branded with the studio that I work at. I really like these. I actually size down in these, which I think typically people don't recommend, but I got a size four because as I wear them throughout the day, they kind of like give a little. So because they have a drawstring, I figured sizing down wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I have another pair of Align leggings. These are um, a seven eighths length. They're branded with the studio that I teach at. I have uh, these ones and then I also have these aligns that are the cropped length. I really love this color. I think it's beautiful. And you guys have seen this too in a couple of my videos. I will say this first pair that I got, this is the first pair of aligns I ever got. And I think I ruined them in the wash. I dried them and I shouldn't have. And I have since learned my lesson that I shouldn't do that, but I did kind of fuck those ones up. Next, let's move on to things that are just kind of random. I have a pair of green outdoor voices leggings that I think I'm actually going to get rid of. I don't grab for these a lot and I honestly ruined them on a hike. They like snagged on something. So I don't wear these a lot. They also are kind of like a weird mid rise. They are not like the most comfortable in the world. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of these. These leggings I love. They're a part of a matching set and we'll get to the sports bra a little bit later. They're from Gap. They're a cheetah set. You guys have seen this one before too in a bunch of videos, especially in my um, workout vlogmas videos. I love these because they have a tie. They're a high waist, but they also have a tie at the waistband. Love that. And then I have this black pair of leggings that is by Colorful Koala. They're like $30 on Amazon. I love them. They hold up and I put them in the dryer and I probably shouldn't, but I don't care. Okay, um, next I have one more kind of miscellaneous pair. Um, it's another pair of Lululemon Align leggings. These ones are special. They're branded with the Blues logo. My wonderful boyfriend got these for me, which I thought was very kind, but they're branded with the Blues logo. They're Lululemon Align leggings. They are, I think they're a crop too. I really love these ones and these feel even better than like the normal Lululemon Aligns, way better than the ones that I have from the studio that I teach at, but I love them and they're special to me. They definitely have sentimental value. So, you know, not for everybody and that's okay. I have like the most leggings from Athleta. So we're gonna go through those. Most of the leggings that I have from Athleta are the ultra high rise elation tights and they're a full length legging. I have those in navy. I have those in cheetah print. I have them two pairs in black. I think I, no, I think that's it. These are all the high rise elation tights. Then I have a red pair of Athleta leggings that have mesh down at the bottom that I really like. They also have pockets on them. I love those with my whole heart. 
I have this pair that's a little bit longer. It kind of have, has like a stirrup down at the bottom. I really love these. They are so comfy. These are like a true like winter legging for me. I love them. And all of these you guys have seen in videos for sure. And I'm gonna insert clips because I know you have seen them in videos. This pair I don't really wear that often. I think when I gained weight last year, these were a pair of leggings that I did not feel comfortable in anymore. I think I'm gonna try them on again today and we'll see how I feel, but I might get rid of these. I love them. They're just like a color blocked pair of leggings. They're, they're kind of high rise, but because of the like crossover in the front, they sometimes hit a little bit funky, but I love them. I do love them. I just, I haven't worn them in a while because they just made me feel uncomfortable when I was a little bit heavier, but oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know about these ones. I got these when like the crossover legging like wasn't cool yet. So end of 2019, I think they do still fit, but I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna have to wear them like out in the world and see how I feel. Um, I do still love them. I'm gonna put a clip of a video that I'm wearing these in and you guys come tell me what you think. I have one more pair of joggers from Athleta and I know you guys have seen these ones before too, but those are all of my bottoms. Now the hard part's gonna be putting them all back in this bin. Like I got rid of one pair. It's not really gonna help me that much. I think the best way to do it is gonna be like this. Now I tried to like be as organized as I could with all of my leggings. I tried um, in 2020 to not buy any new clothes. Um, so I think that's why I maybe don't have as many leggings as some other people, but I also like try not to be wasteful and I try to support brands that I actually like believe in their ethos and support what they stand for as a company. So that's why I have a lot of Athleta leggings for a long time. I didn't buy any Lululemon just because I, I don't know, there are some things about Lululemon that I don't particularly agree with. I don't know. I mean, the first time I really bought Lululemon was this past year in February. I try, I try to like shop more sustainably and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but that's why I have a lot of Athleta leggings <laughs> because I love Athleta. And I think just like as a brand, they're so size inclusive. Like, you know, you just feel good when you go into their stores and wear their stuff. And that's how I want to feel in my activewear. Like this is my workwear. This is the shit that I wear when I teach and I just, I want to feel good. And I, so I feel when I wear Athleta, look at all this, all my leggings. Okay. Next we're going to go through shorts and I really don't have that many. I actually have three of the same pair of shorts. They're all from Athleta. They're the Camden shorts. I really like these. I have them in that color. I have them in khaki and I have them in black. These are my favorite shorts. I wear these all the time in the summer. I also have, I think these are the city short by Athleta. I love these also. Those are the three pairs of shorts that I own. I am not a shorts girl. I will not participate in the biker shorts trend. I, I don't like to wear shorts to work out. It's not comfortable for me. I only really ever wear them hiking. That's why shorts don't have their own little cube. Um, we're gonna get into tops. Now again, I have kind of those same categories. I have Lululemon tops. I have Athleta tops. I have uh, uh, Lululemon tops that are branded with the studio that I work at. And that is just about it. I typically wear tank tops. And since I live in Arizona, it, uh, yeah, I have long sleeve shirts. We're not going to go through them because it, this is the summer right now. So it doesn't make sense to go through my long sleeve tops. We're just going to go through my regular tops and I'll start with things that are like not specific. I have this green Fabletic shirt that I love. I love it so much. I think the cut is so beautiful. It's almost like a tulip cut. You guys have definitely seen this in videos and I'll put in some pictures um, and videos where you've seen it for sure. Um, this is a crop top that I got sent to me from Pilates cat. She is so sweet. It says free your spine and the rest will follow. I have these two um, like built-in bra tops that I got from Amazon. They're supposed to be a dupe for the Align tanks. I'm going to get rid of these actually. I don't really wear them um, and they're not supportive enough for my chest. So I'm actually going to toss these. And you guys probably have seen these in a video actually, but we're going to toss them. We don't need them. These are all the shirts that I have from the studio that I teach at. So I've got just a basic reformed tank, basic tank. We've got um, a reformed North Scottsdale. I have two of these. That's one of the Studios I'm at. This is every day I'm hustling. You guys have seen this one before for sure. It's one of my favorite tops. I love that crop top and you can tell I wear it so much because it's pilling. 
Um, this is from one of the challenges that we did, Energy Love Pilates. Y'all have seen that one before for sure. This is another gray top. Every day I'm hustling. That used to be their thing. They used to have like a wall at the back of the studio that said every day I'm hustling and that was called the hustle wall. This is another challenge it's doing a hundred classes, another reform North Scottsdale shirt. And then this is another challenge t-shirt from doing, they do like um, quarterly challenges. It says Pilates has your back in a really pretty green color. I love, I really love green actually. <laughs> okay, next I have Lululemon branded reformed shirts. So I have two aligned tanks that just have their logo on them. I have one in white and then one in black. I love these. I love them. I wear them a lot, actually. Then I have three tops that are other Lululemon kind of tanks that are branded. This is the, I don't know, muscle tank. It's like three sizes way too big. I don't know how that ended up. This is the all tied up tank. So it's got a little tie in the back logo. And then this one I ruined with benzoyl peroxide. So it's the Broken Beats tank. And as you can see around the collar, I've worn this one in a lot of videos, but I've ruined it with benzoyl peroxide around the collar. So whoops. Hey, next up we have Athleta Tops. And I actually have a couple more Athleta Tops. I just got four in the mail that are all bra tops, including this one. Um, but I'll actually start with that. So this is the, uh, what is it called? I forget what this is called, but it's a bra top. I love this, nice high neck. This is the Intention Crop and I actually got this. I got this one in a small with um, the D to double D support. I got this one in a small with A to C. So this one fits a little more snug. I feel like the broad actually doesn't fit me that well. This one, it fits a little bit better, but I feel like I have some room in the cups. So that was a discussion I had yesterday with my boyfriend when he was like, you're not a double D. I was like, no, I am. Um, anyway, I got this. I can't remember what the name is, but I'll insert it. Um, and I have two more tops like that that I just got, one in white. Another, like this one in white and then this one in black as well. And then I have two Athleta tops that are just like little t-shirts. This one I think is called the Vapor Tee. It's like super thin. And then this one is just like a regular kind of almost like dry fit um, material type of shirt. And then this gray top is from Lululemon. You guys saw this in my Lululemon haul. So we kind of know that one. Mm, in terms of tops, like kind of same thing applies with <laughs> leggings as, um, this does with tops. Like I have a lot of stuff with the studio that I teach at because when I teach that I like, I have to wear that I have to wear a, ref a reformed t-shirt. So that's why I have so many of those. And I have so many of like their Lululemon branded stuff because I used to um, be a studio manager there and I got that as a gift. So here are all my tops. So we'll put this back in the drawer. Next up, we've got sports bras. Now I have a, a pretty decent amount of sports bras. This is not a sports bra. I don't know how that ended up in there, but um, I have a pretty decent amount of sports bras. A majority of my sports bras are from Fabletic and a lot of them I've actually had for two plus years. They hold up really well. They're just really basic. And you guys have seen these in a ton of videos. I have this sports bra that I wear all of the time. It has a little pocket in the back for your phone. My phone doesn't fit in that pocket anymore, but it used to. Um, I have that style. I have that in like three different colors. And then I have this style. It's a higher neck Fabletics bra. And I'm going to um, insert some clips because I know you guys have seen these in videos. So I have a higher neck one and then just that same sports bra that I showed to start. I have two in black, one in purple, one in white. And then I have that same like high neck sports bra in kind of like a pinky white. It just looks like a dirty white at this point. But those are my Fabletics sports bras. I do like Fabletics. I don't think the quality is anything amazing. And um, I try not to support fast fashion. All of the Fabletics stuff that I do have, I bought a while ago and I haven't like bought from them since that. Just because I think it's important to invest in pieces, especially like this is my workwear. It's important to spend money on that stuff so that I look nice for work. I look put together and I don't have to constantly be spending money on activewear. It's my little spiel on Fabletics. Um, I have Lululemon sports bras. You guys have seen all of these in videos. I know that you have. Um, this one is actually matching to the pair of leggings that I showed a little bit earlier. This one matches my green pair of leggings. And this one is just a black ribbed sports bra. I went over these in my Lululemon haul back in February. Then I have two Lulu sports bras that are reformed branded. I have this one, it's a high neck. Uh, it's a little bit of a um, longer line sports bra. I, I like that one. 
it's ribbed so it looks nice and then i have this pink one that you guys have seen too in videos with the really nice like strappy back and the last sports bra that i have is this one from gap that matches my leopard print leggings you guys have seen that in a video too with sports bras same thing i store them the same way i just lay them flat and i put them in a little thing and that's literally my whole active wear collection <laughs> Um, I am going to show you uh, the two other support tops that I got from Athleta so you can see those and then we're going to be done here. Um, two other things I did want to note in terms of like socks, I only wear Under Armour socks. I, I don't know why I only wear like the ankle socks from Under Armour. I get those on Amazon. I replenish those probably about every year. In terms of underwear for working out, I, all of my underwear is from Aerie. And I wear like their seamless thong for working out because I genuinely don't give a fuck if people can see my underwear. Like that's not a big deal to me. Um, some people go commando. I don't do that. I'm not comfortable like that, especially because in a lot of Pilates exercises, your legs are like way the hell open like that. And it just, um, it, it doesn't feel nice to not be wearing underwear when you're doing that. So I wear underwear. And God bless the people that can do without it. I can't, I can't not do that. For the athlete of things that I got, here we go. The one that I'm wearing right now is, ooh, it's the Conscious Crop. Okay, so it's the Conscious Crop and um, I got it in navy blue. And this color is the Arbor Olive color. It doesn't quite match the olive of my leggings, but I thought, you know, I thought it worked. What do you guys think? Do you think it works? Like it's like almost there, but not quite. What do you guys think on that? I also got it in navy blue so I can match my navy blue leggings. And then this is the intention crop that I got in black and also in white. And let me show you guys what this one looks like on. So we can see the conscious crop in the back. It's just kind of like a high neck too. It's nothing crazy, nothing too fancy. I really like it though. I was feeling like in the summer, like I wanted something that I could just throw on and like wear a crop top, but like not necessarily just be wearing a bra to teach. So I feel like this is a pretty happy in between. Okay, so this is the intention crop. Again, I got it in black too. I think the bra on this one fits me better. I think that maybe like the straps are adjustable. I think maybe like just the cut of it isn't great for me. I do think it fits pretty nicely and this is pretty tight in the back so it stays put. But isn't this like so cute? I feel like for a summer top, like teaching, taking class, like just hanging out, I feel like this is super cute. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> tell me. Okay. And with that, that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming it. It's fun to share like the stuff that I love, like the active wear that I love. Remember you guys are awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to and I'll see you guys in our next video. Why did I do that? <laughs>